back, Ollie. And I'm from a country that's also a continent. Australia, mate. That's right. And today, I'm here to tell you all about our new series on forgiveness. And today, we're going to answer the question, what is forgiveness? You know what, kids? Australia is home with some of the most dangerous predators in the whole world. Predators like the box jellyfish, the honeybee, the stinging stonefish, great white sharks, bull sharks, the southern blue lined octopus, full of web spiders, eastern brown snakes, inland taipan, and of course, the saltwater crocodile. Those crocs, you gotta stay alert for those crocs. You know what, kids? This reminds me of a story when I was walking one day with me good friend, with me mate, Aussie Joe, that was his name. And we were walking along looking for some crocs. We were walking along looking for some crocs. And then all of a sudden, Aussie Joe jumped on my back, screaming like a little lad. And we fell down into the water. Splash! It kind of hurt my back a little bit too, kids. I said, Aussie Joe, what are you doing, mate? He said, there's a box jellyfish right over there. Well, no wonder he jumped on my back. You don't want to get stung by a box jellyfish. No way. You know what, kids? I had to forgive Aussie Joe for what he did. For getting me all wet and for hurting my back a little bit. I had to choose to forgive him. You know what, kids? In just a little bit, he'll tell you a story all about Joseph and how he chose to forgive his brothers. And then, Pastor Steve's going to come up and he's going to tell you the rest of the lesson. But for right now, I'm going to hand it over to our good friend, Ashton. And she's going to tell you a little bit more about forgiveness. Hey everyone, my name is Ashton and welcome to our brand new series called Forgiveness. Um, okay, that was weird. I'm sure you've heard that word before, you know, Forgiveness! Oh, come on! Have you ever been hurt by somebody before? Maybe someone said something that really hurt your feelings. <laughs> you smell like a rotten banana. Or maybe you've had a bully that hurt you physically. <laughs> or maybe you've been hurt by somebody you love. You funny looking. We have all been hurt before. Did you know that when somebody hurts us, we have to forgive them? Huh? Forgiving people can be really hard. Trust me, I know. Yesterday, I was trying to do my homework in the kitchen when my little brother walked in and he spilled orange juice all over my homework. I was so mad. What I wanted to do was scream and yell at him. But instead, I chose to forgive him. I had a really hard time choosing to forgive my brother. But do you want to hear something even crazier? What? What? What is it? There's a guy in the Bible named Joseph. And he had brothers that were way worse than mine. His brothers wanted to kill him. You going down, pipsqueak. They threw him in a pit, sold him into slavery, and faked his death. You think orange juice on homework is bad? This guy had it rough. His brothers did some terrible things. What do you think Joseph did about it? Did he try to get revenge? That's for throwing me in a pit. Did he get them arrested? <laughs> or do you think he forgave them? I forgive you, bro. Today, you're going to learn what Joseph did in your lesson all about forgiveness. Oh, brother. Until next time, this is Ashton. See ya! What you gotta know? What you gotta know? What you gotta know? What you gotta know? kids my name is Wiggy Wiggy Pop and I'm here to have a rocking time telling you what you gotta know I'm so excited to be starting this brand new series called forgiveness today we are answering the question what is forgiveness so every time today that you hear someone ask you what you gotta know you tell them this 
I'll forgive everyone who does me wrong. Some people, they can hold a grudge about anything. I'm still mad at you for bumping into me at our jam session the other day. Oh yeah? Well, I'm still mad at you for telling me my guitar was out of tune. A lot of times, people will stay mad at others for things that could easily be forgiven. Do you think God wants us to hold a grudge against others? No way. That's right. He wants us to forgive everyone who does us wrong. So every time today that you hear someone ask you what you gotta know, you tell them this. I'll forgive everyone who does me wrong. And that right there is what you gotta know. My name is Wiggy Pop, and I'll see you next time. Rock on! <laughs>
Abby. And today's Bible story was found in Genesis 37 to 45. We're going to look at the life of Joseph. We begin with Joseph receiving a coat of many colors from his father. Joseph was his, was his father's favorite son. Joseph's brothers were not accepting that. They were so angry. Joseph's brothers plotted against him. They ended up selling him as a slave to some passing traders. Joseph went through so much in the next few years. To make it long story short, God used Joseph in a powerful way. He ended up being second in command in Egypt. Many years passed and a famine came over the land that his family was living in. They ended up traveling to Egypt and begging for food. The day finally arrived when Joseph's brothers arrived in Egypt. When they arrived, guess who was in charge of distributing the food? That's right, Joseph! But his brothers didn't recognize him. I'm sure Joseph remembered that, how evil and mean his brothers had been to him. Joseph could have had them killed right then and there. He could have had them sold into slavery just like he, they did to him. But that's not what he did. Joseph told all the attendants and the officials, out, all of you, leave me with them. His brothers must have wondered, what's gonna happen next? Have we made the leader mad? What's gonna happen? They were so nervous. Joseph brought his brothers close to him and said, I'm Joseph, the one you sold into slavery. Wow, can you imagine what the brothers must have thought? They probably thought we're really about to be killed, but instead they were forgiven. Joseph forgave his brothers for every single thing he has done. Do you think that was easy for him to do? Of course not. He had forgiven the pain these brothers had caused him. He still remembered all of the years he spent in prison. He knew that they deserved to be punished for everything they have done. But instead of giving them what they deserved, he forgave them. In today's lesson, you're going to learn you can always also forgive those who hurt you. It's never easy, but it is for sure possible. With God's help, you can choose to forgive rather than take revenge. Listen closely. This lesson could change your life. What you gotta know? I'll forgive everyone who does me wrong. Thank you, thank you. Oh, please hold the applause. <laughs> thank you. Well, I am the actor and I'm here to teach you today's power verse. And if you want to be a great method actor like myself, you must know the power verse. So let's get to it. Today's power verse says, Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Colossians 3.13a What a stupendous power verse! But if there's anything I've ever learned, it's that you'll never forget your lines, or the power verse in this instance, if you say it completely in character. So to help us, let's select today's character from the character box. Ah, yes, today's character is a 15-foot-tall mouse playing a banjo. Hmm. Acting, thank you! <laughs> no, today's character is actually an old person. So, I need you to get your oldest grandma or grandpa voice together, and let's say the power verse together on the count of three. Everyone stand up. Here we go. One, two, three. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Colossians 3.13a. Acting, thank you. Wow, that was superb. Well, I must get going, so I'll see you later, boys and girls. Exit, stage left. <laughs> Acting, thank you. Hey kids, 
great job with the power verse. And now it's time to listen to Pastor Steve as he brings us the rest of the lesson. And he answers that question, what is forgiveness? Hey guys, Pastor Steve here. And we're starting our brand new series on forgiveness. Today, we're going to answer that question, what is forgiveness? So let me ask you a question before we get into our lesson. How many of you have a brother or a sister? And maybe your brother or your sister comes to you and wants to play with something that you're playing with, a toy or a video game that you're playing with. And at that time, you don't really want them to play with it. And they get so upset because they want to play with that toy or they want to play that video game or they want to do whatever it is that they want to do that belongs to you. And they get so upset that that's right. They rear back and they punch you. Now, you know what? That's not right, is it? We should never do that. But what's our natural reaction, our natural tendency? Our natural tendency is to punch them back. But that's not what God wants. God wants us to show forgiveness to those who do us wrong. Sometimes that's easier said than done. But that is what God wants us to do. He doesn't want us to punch back. He doesn't want us to fight back because of something that someone had done to us. He wants us to forgive. Now, the story of Joseph that we just heard is a perfect example of forgiveness. We see how Joseph's brothers sell him into slavery. And because of that act, jo Joseph becomes a slave. He becomes a prisoner. But ultimately, God was with him and advanced him to the point of second in charge of the entire nation of Egypt. But there comes a time where Joseph and his brothers are reunited. And Joseph has the power because of his new position within the country or the nation of Egypt. And he has the opportunity to take revenge on his brothers for what they had done to him. But what does Joseph do? Does he yell at them? Does he scream at them? Does he throw them in prison? Does he have them beaten? Does he have them killed? No, he doesn't. He chooses to forgive his brothers for what they've done. And that is what God wants us to do. Forgiveness is the right thing to do when someone else hurts you. It doesn't matter if they hurt you physically by hitting you, emotionally, by, by hurting your feelings, or in any other way. You might say, okay, okay, I understand that I need to forgive. Forgiveness is the important and it's the right thing to do. But what exactly is forgiveness? So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the story of Joseph and his reaction to his brothers and find out what forgiveness really looks like. So here we go. Point number one, forgiveness is not pretending like nothing ever happened. So pretend with me that I have a, a, a Lego set right here. Maybe like the Death Star. Something that took me a long, long time to like put together. And I had a friend that came in and was like, oh, that is so cool. Can I, can I pick it up? Can I hold it? And I'm like, no, 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 don't, don't pick it up. That took me a long time to build. And my friend got so upset with me because I wouldn't let him hold this Death Star Lego set that I had put, spent so much time putting together that instead he knocked it off the table on purpose. Wow, that was not cool. I mean, seriously, he knew how long it took me to put that thing together. And because I wouldn't let him hold it, he threw it on the ground or knocked it off the table and it broke into pieces. You know, I could do a couple things. I could get really mad, yell at him, or I could forgive him. But what does forgiveness look like in a situation like that? Does forgiveness mean I just sweep up all the pieces, throw it in the trash and pretend that it never happened? No, that is not what forgiveness is. Joseph didn't do that with his brothers. They came to, to see him. They're asking for food because they're in the middle of this drought, this famine. And yet, when Joseph reveals himself to his brothers, what does he say? He says, I am Joseph, your brother, whom you sold into slavery. 
He acknowledges what they did, that they had sold him into slavery, that they had done him wrong, but that he chose to forgive them. He chose to forgive his brothers. Joseph could have taken his revenge on his brothers. Think about that for a second, kids. I mean, Joseph didn't just say, hey, I'm Joseph, your brother, now let's go have a pizza and forget that that ever happened. No, he's saying, hey, I am Joseph, your brother, who you sold into slavery. He didn't pretend that it never happened. He addressed what they had done wrong. You know, sometimes we think that forgiveness means that we just uh, act as though or pretend that what they did never really happened. But that is not what forgiveness is. Forgiveness is acknowledging what the mistake was so that the person needing to be forgiven can ask for forgiveness. That leads us to the second point. Point number two. Forgiveness is not taking the blame for the wrong. You know, Joseph didn't say to his brothers, hey, you know what? Yeah, you guys sold me into slavery, but you know what? It was really my fault. You know, I wore the coat that of many colors that dad gave me. And, you know, I shouldn't have worn that in front of you because I knew that would make you upset. You know, you kind of, I kind of forced your hand into selling me into slavery. That's not true. That's not what Joseph did. Joseph said, no, you sold me into slavery. You sold me. You did it. A lot of times we think that, you know, in order for to make peace with someone, we need to take part of the blame too. And, you know, and if there is an area or something that you did that you need to seek forgiveness for, then that needs to be done. But when there's a wrong done to you, that person needs to acknowledge their mistake and not allow us or the person forgiving to excuse them for the wrong that they did. So what does forgiveness actually look like? Let's look at what Joseph did. He told the Egyptian officials, hey, bring them food, clothing, and transportation. Then he told his brothers, go back and get our dad and our, the whole family and bring them here. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to harm you in any way. In fact, I'm going to give you the very best of everything in this country. It was a beautiful picture of what forgiveness really is. The third point is this. Forgiveness is blessing those who hurt me. You may be thinking, hold on a second. I need to bless those that hurt me? Those that lied to me or they made fun of me or they hurt me physically? I need to bless them? They don't deserve any blessings. That's very true. But did we deserve any of the blessings that God has given to us? Didn't we do wrong to God when, by sinning, by not following his word? Yet he forgives us over and over again. Every day, he forgives us, doesn't he? You know, we really need to follow Joseph's example. He forgave his brothers. He blessed them them and he never brought it up again hey kids that was a great word from pastor steve on forgiveness we answered that question what is forgiveness well what did we learn kids we learned that first forgiveness is not pretending like nothing ever happened it's also not taking the blame for a wrong that you did not do and third forgiveness is blessing those who hurt us and not holding their mistake against them. Well, kids, until next time, I'm Al Beck Holly, and I'll see you next week as we learn a little bit more about forgiveness. Good day, mate.